Good morning, Pastor Joy Richards here. It's Tuesday morning. I hope you're having a wonderful morning and that all is well with you and that you're planning on having this super wonderful, happy, uh, holy day in your life that God has given you. My reading today will be from a guide to prayer, the Emerald Green uh, edition. Uh, it'll be a John Wesley uh, quote, a reading from his writings. The holiest of men still need Christ as their prophet, as the light of the world. For he does not give them light, but from moment to moment. The instant he withdraws, all is darkness. They still need Christ as their king, for God does not give them a stock of holiness. But unless they receive a supply every moment, nothing but unholiness would remain. They still need Christ as their priest to make atonement for their holy things. Even perfect holiness is acceptable to God only through Jesus Christ. That was from Christian Perfection by John Wesley. Of course, as Methodists, we understand perfection a little bit because we hear about it a lot, but if it's new to you, uh, we believe we move toward Christian perfection moment by moment and that it's not stockpiled up that you can't rest on your laurels, if you will. It's a daily uh, undertaking and it's a daily task. Perfection uh, means growing in your love and knowledge of God. We're always to be growing in our love and knowledge of God. That's, that's important. Uh, you know, it's not hard to do if we'll just read a little bit each day and pray a little bit each day and talk to God as we do our chores. Uh, he will grant us holiness, and he will grant us wisdom, and he will grant us knowledge. And, of course, wisdom and knowledge are two distinct things. They're not the same, are they? Many of us can know so much about Jesus. We can know all the words in the Bible. We can memorize the Bible, but yet miss the wisdom. So the wisdom is brought to us by the Holy Spirit who enlivens us when we read the Bible and gives us an understanding that is relevant to our questions at the moment. So we believe in Christian perfection, meaning being more perfected in the love and knowledge of God and that we strive for that daily. We pick up our cross daily. Uh, we try not to backslide. We try not to fall away from God. We try to stay in the stream of the glory of God all the days of our life so that we can live life abundant. Let us pray for those who are struggling with coronavirus. Come Holy Spirit, Father God, we lift all of those who are sick from coronavirus. We ask wellness for them. We ask for uh, medicines for them. We ask that they be healed straightway. We ask that the doctors are in charge of all of that and that it's not a money grab and that the best medicines come forward. It's concerning to me, Lord God, to watch some of this and to wonder uh, to follow the money and see what's really going on with all that. So we, we hope and we pray, Lord God, for you to take it over and you to make the medicine and you to end this uh, disease that has become so horrible for folks. Uh, we ask for wellness for those who have it, and we ask protection for others so that they don't get it. Uh, we ask that our country be released of this virus, that our people be able to go back to work well, and that uh, this become no threat for us forevermore. Uh, we thank you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God. We give you glory, Lord God. We thank you for this day, Lord God. You're such a precious God, and you're so loving to us and kind to us, and we, we just thank you, Lord God. I lift my church members, Lord God, to cover them 
and your Shekinah glory, your shield of your glory, that they will not get coronavirus. And all of those watching this video, Lord God, I ask that you touch their continents and make them happy. Take away any fear. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray this prayer. Go and have a wonderful day today. All is well. All is well. All shall be well. Go in peace, my friends. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.